Hello students, a very happy and cheerful morning to all of you. I hope you all are fine and taking good care of your health. So students, are you ready for your grammar class? We, had, we will start a fresh new chapter today. That is chapter number 8, nouns. You all are well aware about nouns. Now in this part, you will study about number. Now let us understand this chapter in detail. Take out your textbooks. So, take out your textbook, grammar textbook, chapter 8, nouns, number. Singular and plural nouns. Singular means one and plural means more than one. You have studied about this in your previous classes also, right? Today is Rinky's birthday. Today is Rinky's birthday. Now, we will read, read on to find out what she has to tell you. This is Rinky and now let us see what she has to tell us. For my birthday party, all my friends were invited. My room was decorated with colourful balloons and stars. A cake was brought by my brother. I got many gifts. Jyoti, my friend, gave me a book which I liked the most. Now children see what all words were underlined? Friends, balloons, stars. Why? Because they are plural form. They are in plural form. And the nouns which are in bold letter. See cake, brother, friend and book are singular nouns. Right? Then Nouns. Now important. Mark this box as important. This is the definition of nouns. What are nouns? Nouns which stand for one person, animal, place or thing. This is the definition of singular nouns. Okay. So nouns which stand for one person, animal, place or thing are called singular nouns. The nouns which are underlined talk about the persons or things which are more than one. We discussed in that paragraph. And now, again this box is important. This is the definition of plural nouns. Very easy. Nouns which stand for more than one and here only one. Rest remains the same. Person, animal, place or thing. Now, in this chapter, you have various pink boxes, which are very, very important. If you understand all these boxes, the rules that how to change a singular to plural, then the, it will be very easy for you to solve the exercise. See, plural nouns. Plural nouns are formed in different ways. We add S. Agar humko bola jai, what will be the plural of balloon, friend? So we simply add an S and it becomes plural balloons, friends. So this box is very easy that we have to add S to most singular nouns, right? Tree become trees, girl becomes girls, right? Just by adding a S. Then what the second box tells us about? If the nouns ends with S, X, CH or SH. If the nouns end with S, X, CH or SH. We form plural by adding ES. Okay. When you see the noun is ending with S, X, SH. So you have to add ES. Clear? So glass you will add ES. So it will turn into glasses. And this will become plural. Box will turn into boxes. Bush will change into bushes. What we are doing? We are making singular noun a plural by adding ES. Church will become churches. Okay. Then let us see what the third box tells us about. When nouns end in Y. Ab aapko kya yaad rakhna hai? The ending letters. In the previous pink box, 
एस सी एच एस एच एक्स विल बी रिप्लेस विल बी चेंज इन टू प्लूरल बाय एडिंग ई एस एंड नाउ वेन द नाउंस एंड विथ वाई एंड देर इज अ कॉन्सोनेंट बिफोर वाई दैट मीन्स जब कोई नाउन वाई से खत्म हो रहा है एंड बिफोर दैट इट इज अ कॉन्सोनेंट कॉन्सोनेंट मीन्स अल्फाबेट्स अपार्ट फ्रॉम वॉवल्स राइट सो वॉट वी हैव टू डू वी ड्रॉप वाई दैट मीन्स हम वाई की जगह वी ड्रॉप वाई एंड रिप्लेस इट विथ आई ई एस फॉर एग्जाम्पल पार्टी इट इज एंडिंग विथ वाई एंड वॉट कैन यू सी बिफोर वाई टी टी इज अ वॉवल नो टी इज अ कॉन्सोनेंट सो वी विल ड्रॉप वाई एंड एड आई ई एस so it will become parties families duties right this much is clear good now our next box of rules when nouns end in y and there is a vowel before y when nouns are ending with y okay in the previous box also nouns were ending with y but did you notice in that the previous letter y ke pehla wala letter consonant tha but now here the previous letter of y is an vowel that means a e i o u so uh, a e i o u so now what we will do here we add only s okay not i e s only s c day become days key becomes keys and if you want to change toy to plural form toys monkeys so note down the difference when a noun ends with y note ki uske pehle consonant hai so we will drop y and put i e s and if there is vowel so you will just add an s then for most nouns ending in f or f e all the nouns that are ending with f or f e what they will change they are singular if we want to make them plural so by changing f or f e into v e s that means you will cancel f and change into v e s सो सी ए एल एफ में से एफ हट जाके वी ई एस आ जाएगा सो वॉट इट विल चेंज काव्स हाउस नाइफ प्लस वी ई एस नाइव बिकॉज एफ ई इज कैंसल्ड राइट सो आर यू ऑल अंडरस्टैंडिंग द रूल्स क्लियरली वेरी गुड यू जस्ट हैव टू पे अटेंशन टू ऑल दीज बॉक्सेस फॉर सॉल्विंग द एक्सरसाइज most nouns ending in o form the plural by ending es again pay attention to the last letter when it is ending with o you will add es buffaloes here you don't have to replace you have to add mangoes tomatoes okay it is ending with o so you will add es so these there are some nouns which do not follow rules see till now whatever we studied every box was having some rule based on the last letter right but now there are some nouns which do not follow the rules let us see the examples nouns which do not change in plural there are some nouns which remains as it is aircraft what will be the plural of aircraft aircraft only we do not have to change sheep sheep you have heard flock of sheep but it is never said sheeps right deer plural form of deer will be deer only and plural form of fish will be fish only we write fishes when we mean a variety of fish we use fishes but when we want to say about variety of fish okay the pond has many fishes right otherwise we say a school of fish right 
So children, see, some nouns form their plurals in an irregular manner. Now, these nouns form irregular manner. See, child, what will be the plural of child? Children. Ox, we have the first box mein, when the noun ends with X, SH, so we add ES. But here, these are some exceptions, okay? So, ox, what will be the plural of ox? Oxen. Here, no rules are followed. You have to just remember. What will be the plural of mouse? Mice. Plural of men? Men. A ki jaga e a gaya, okay? Woman? Woman. Foot? Feet. Tooth means one tooth. Singular. Plural will be teeth. Goose and geese. Okay, children? So now, see. Some nouns are always used in plural form. Examples. Scissors, trousers, spectacles, socks. These are always used in plural form. A pair of scissors, trousers, right? And some nouns are always used in singular. Example, furniture, news, right? They always remain in singular. Now, the rules are clear for you. So, the exercises will be solved by you, by yourself. You know the singular and plural. So, you have to just find out singular nouns and circle that. And you have to find out the plural nouns and underline that. Okay, very easy exercise. Then here also you have to fill in the blanks using these options. I have bought two. Two means plural. Book or books? So books. Like this you will solve. Ab aapko rules samaj so it will be easy for you to solve it by your own. And then you can tell me in the live class. Okay, see. Write the plural form. Now, we have studied the rules. Par liye. Leaf. F will be changed into VES. Like this, remember the rules and fill in this. And here in the last exercise, you have to write in singular form. Donkeys. So, singular will be donkey. Babies. IES ki jaga Y. Okay, so use the rules and solve the exercises. It will be fun for you. We'll meet in the next video lesson. Till then, take care. Keep smiling. God bless you.